Hey guys, I have tutorial today and before we start with the Photoshop part of it, I just wanted to talk a little bit about expansions because I know not a lot of people know what it is, why you would need to use it or why you would want to use it. So expansion, it's pretty much expanding your picture, making it bigger. So when you take one picture, you would take multiple pictures around that picture and then you would put it together like a puzzle in Photoshop to make it a lot bigger. Now a lot of people are confused to why you would do it if you can just back up and take a bigger picture, right? But sometimes it is hard to do so if you're shooting in a small room or if you want to preserve a lot of detail in your picture. So I mostly use it because I do shoot a lot in small rooms and I shoot with my 85 millimeter lens. The focal length of that lens, you know, doesn't really let me take a lot of details into the picture, but it's so, so nice for my portraits. So I do expand my pictures a lot if I use that lens. Also, sometimes when I do take a picture of a beautiful landscape, but I have a person in that picture, I still want to preserve some of the detail of that person. So I will take a full body shot and then I will take a picture of the whole landscape and then I will just put those pictures together so you will still get that detail and you still will get the whole landscape. Expansions are not hard but they do take a while. So sorry if this tutorial is a little bit too long and once you get a hang of it, um, you'll be using it in like all of your pictures, I guarantee you. Also, I just wanted to remind you guys that this is my way of doing expansions. You can do it a lot of different multiple ways. There's so many ways you can do this. But this is what works for me and hopefully it will work for you. Okay, so I have this picture here which I'm going to start with and it's just a picture of the face. Uh, that's as much as I could get into my lens with um, the focal length that I had on my lens. I was shooting with my 85mm and my room is pretty small so this is as much as I could get into my lens. But that's okay because we're going to expand this picture and add a lot more details to it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get my crop tool right here. I'm going to right click on it and we're going to set it to square because I will post it to Instagram and square is my favorite crop to use because I can crop the square into any position that I want to. So I'm just going to drag this crop and make it bigger. Alright, I'm going to drag it right here as well. Let's make it maybe even bigger. And then, you know, if it is too big, like if I don't have enough detail to fill this in with, then I can always just crop it back. Alright, so we're going to leave it at that. Alright, so now I'm going to go into my gallery and here I have just pictures that I've taken from each side. So the way I did it is I just focused on her face and then I moved around my camera to get a shot from every single side of her, just going around her face. So this way I have a picture to fill in for all these parts on the sides. So I have this picture right here which is perfect so I'm going to open it in my Photoshop. Alright and it's just right over here. Now we go to selection tool right here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to duplicate the layer on top of the first image. I'm going to press OK. So and we can just delete it now. So now I have that layer on top of my old picture and I'm going to take this move tool right here and I'm gonna move it around kinda like you know it's a puzzle you're gonna just play around so it fits right here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my layers and instead of normal I'm gonna choose multiply so what that does it shows you where those layers overlap and you can see 
where you don't need the old layer and where you actually need it. So they overlap here in the middle and I'm just going to take the eraser. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, keep it at 100 opacity and I'm just going to go ahead and start erasing just where they overlap. Sorry, I had my opacity at 84 for some reason, probably from the older pictures that I was editing. So you go ahead and also I like to use a soft rounded brush for this so that we don't have a harsh line uh, with you know overlapping the pictures. So now that you've erased that and don't erase this line obviously because you're gonna have again like a weird line there. So I'm gonna go again and choose normal and as you can see there's a really nice overlap and then you can just move it around again and see the best position I think right here is perfect oh never mind I think this is better alrighty it might be a little bit hard at some points because obviously the light changes a little bit if you take pictures from different sides but um, that's what just you have to deal with when you do an expansion. I'm just going to go ahead uh, and just multiply this again. And I just noticed there is a little tiny thing that I don't like just right over here. So I'm going to delete that layer. And all right, now it's perfect. So I'm just going to select both of them, right click and I'm going to merge the layers. I do this every time. I don't like to have a lot of um, duplicate layers. So that's just the way I do it. If you guys, you know, like to do a different way, just just keep them piling up. Um, I just prefer not to. I'm going to go back into my gallery and I'm going to find a shot. All right. I like this one. I'm going to open it with Photoshop and this is just going to put a little bit at the top. So the same thing, you go to selection layer, right click, duplicate and duplicate on the first picture, press OK. Now take your moving tool, you're going to try to fit this, alrighty. Now again, I'm just going to go ahead, press the multiply layer. And I'm going to start deleting whatever they're overlapping. So pretty much, yeah, you're just deleting that layer that you just put on top. And you're just leaving only that little space of that layer that you need to cover a white spot on your picture. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks. So if you unclick this right here, you can see... This was the layer that you're putting on, right? So you deleted anything that you didn't need from this layer and you left whatever you needed. So we're going to go ahead, press normal here. And again, I'm just going to move it around a little bit to find that best spot. All right, it's perfect. Um, now what I've noticed that it's a little bit too bright, but that's all right. We're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves. And you're going to darken it up just a little bit. And then I've noticed it's a little bit yellowish. And again, this happens. Uh, light falls a little bit differently if you take a picture from different sides. So we're just going to go ahead to Adjustments. I'm going to go to Selective Color. That's my favorite thing to use for adjusting colors. I'm going to go to Neutrals here. And I'm going to play it up a little bit to this side just to make the tones a little bit cooler. And here you go. It matches perfectly now. And we can do this as long as you have just this layer selected so that nothing else in the picture changes. Just that layer that you selected changes the colors. So again, I'm going to select both of them and merge the layers. 
So from now on, I guess this is the same thing, just repetitive. You ch try to pick the picture that fits into your puzzle, line it up, and then you you line it up, you delete whatever from the layer you don't need, and adjust the brightness or the tone if you need to. And you just continue doing that until your picture is done. Alright, so I'll just leave it at that because I don't really feel like redoing the whole thing again. I already have this picture done actually. So I'm just going to crop it right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you another little trick that I use whenever I'm doing expansion, uh, expansions. Um, <laughs> this might happen to you. It happens to me a lot because I'm not that great with taking those rounded pictures or whatever anyway so I have a little hole right here which I don't have uh, anything to fill with but it's alright it's pretty easy to do we're gonna duplicate the layer gonna pick this uh, stamp clone tool I'm gonna make it just a tiny bit bigger just like this and I'm going to clone a space right here. I'm just going to start applying it right over here. Now this little space is a little bit darker. So I'm just going to clone it right beside it. Clone a little bit over here. Maybe this part looks better. Right here. And just go a little bit more. Now this part when it transitions. And here you go. Pretty easy. Alright, and I'm going to just merge them. So yeah, we are pretty much done. And you can expand it, you know, as much as you want. You can make it as big as you want. I just feel like expanding just makes the picture so much nicer makes you know it brings so much detail to the picture it's a very cool tool that you can use to make your pictures a lot more interesting i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and also leave any suggestions for my future tutorials bye